Oh no, that's annoying. We're gonna have to fix that before we go live. Honestly, look at this. Eh? What's this? Glorious! No, I won't give in! I won't give in till I'm victorious! Hello everyone, this is CG Novo 992 and today we are back for another brand new video. Today's video we will be breaking down St. Johnson versus Rangers. I will give you a wee bit of team news and what the manager has said ahead of the game and as always giving you mine and the people's prediction ahead of the game. Now before we jump into the video I just want to say a massive thank you and the support in the last video. It was absolutely tremendous. It was honestly great to see so many people subscribing to the channel and helping that channel get towards the 24k target. So let's keep that momentum up if you haven't subscribed already please consider doing so. And if you don't mind hitting that like button that would be greatly greatly appreciated as it helps others find the channel. But enough monologue, let's just jump right into today's video then, shall we? 3, 2, 1. St. Johnson versus Rangers 12-15 kickoff. A bit of an early one, in case you don't know. I got a couple of comments from like my dad and stuff saying, is that 3 p.m. kickoff because I'm going to miss it because I'm working. No, dad, relax. 12-15. I could have just texted you. I realise that. But before we dive into the Johnson match, I want to just take a little second to announce Ryan Jack has signed a contract extension at the club to 2021. Can we just give him a round of applause? Because boy, the guy's performances this season has been absolutely top-notch. The man's won three fan man of the match polls in a row, and his performances are just getting better and better and better. And Ryan Jack, ahead of it, has basically said he wants to be remembered, and he wants to be one of these players that's won a lot of things at the Famous. He's at a great club, he, he doesn't want to leave, he's not even thinking about leaving, he's got so much good stuff around Round them. And to be honest with you, I'm not going to break down the full thing, but something that really stood out to me, I know I just mentioned it, was he wants to be remembered by the fans for winning things. That's absolutely tremendous. That is the mindset that we want. Gary McAllister obviously commented on it and why he was given the contract. He says it's not just these performances on match day, which has been absolutely exceptional all season long. It's what he does Monday to Friday behind the scenes for training and the other boys. So that raises the question. Is Ryan Jack the future captain that I would absolutely love? <laughs> but to me, hearing all the stuff he does behind the scenes, it looks like he is one of these captains and one of these leaders in the dressing room. So it would be absolutely fantastic to see that captain's armband on Ryan Jack one day. What do you guys think? Make sure you let me know in the comment section below. But let's just jump right into the match itself. Now, Rangers versus St. Johnson, or as the way it should be named because St. Johnson is at home, St. Johnson versus Rangers. Now, before St. Johnson had that blip against Mullerwell, they were the most informed team in the league. They went eight games undefeated, keeping so many clean sheets in that run. If you follow the SPFL show, we sort of broke that down, me and Dev looking at them saying, this will be a very difficult game. Now, they did lose to Mullerwell, which was a surprise to so many people, but they're back, they're at home, and again, they keep clean sheets at home, which I don't like to hear. Transition, especially if you jump over on the Rangers side of things and you realise that Rangers has only scored one goal from open play in the last seven matches. That little start debate, I just don't like it. Doesn't mesh well. Throw it out. Bit of good news though, just to climb above that negativity though, that Rangers haven't lost in the last five matches versus St. Johnson and you have to go way back to 2010 for when they last lost in Perth. The only other bad news and someone to look out for on the St. Johnson side of things is going to be Blair Olsen. He scored two goals in his last three matches against the Rangers, so he will probably be one of the star men for St. Johnson. Which basically means I didn't like Blair Olsen, alright? I never liked him. Let's hope that the new contract Ryan Jack shuts him down. That would be great to see. Let's make sure he doesn't build on that impressive start against the Famous. But let's jump over and look more at the Famous though and let's look at the injury list because there's three names, three big names actually that's been added to it which makes me a little bit nervous especially given this tricky trip to Perth. The first one I'm going to be mentioning is a bit of a blow for the creative side of things. It's going to be Scotty Airfield. Now he is listed as doubtful but still in contention. Now he does have a little niggle on his hamstring. That is why he was took off against Hibs. Gary McAllister hasn't ruled out if he is or isn't going to be playing. He's one of these players though that's kind of 50-50. Unfortunately that trend continues moving on to our centre back and it's going to be Connor Goldson. Now he is unfortunately again listed as 50-50 as he has an unspecified niggle which makes me a wee bit nervous especially given the fact that Gary McAllister says he's got a couple of niggles so out of the three names that I'm going to mention I'm pretty sure Connor Golton won't be playing against St Johnson which will be a massive massive loss but again it's still ruled as in contention. On the side of that, the next player we're going to be discussing is going to be his actual centre-back partnership. We finally set on a centre-back partnership, yeah, and they're both injured. That's right, Gary McCauley's actually got a problem with his five. I mean, that just sums up our luck as Rangers fans because we have been crying out for some consistent centre-back partnerships and we finally get one. Gareth McCauley, 
and cornered Ghost and started five of the last six matches and both of them's got niggles. I mean, come on. So again, just to wrap up very quickly, Scotty A, hamstring, Connor Colton, couple niggles, and obviously Gareth McCall has been listed as struggling with a hip problem. So that's the three listed that could or could not be playing. Let's rule out the two players who definitely won't be playing, and that's Graham Dorrance and Jamie Murphy, the only other long-term injuries on the Rangers side. Get well soon, boys. We need you back. And thankfully, that is it for the injury news, and that's actually going to be it for the team news as well. Now, all that's left for today's video is now that you've got all the information is to let me know what you're thinking ahead of the game in the comment section below. What's the score going to be and what is your goal scorers? As always, if you get it right, I will pin your comment in the video the next day. I mean, honestly, I can't exactly pin it ahead of the time. Whatever, alright? I'm terrible at this, but let's rock and roll. I'm going to give you my prediction now and I'm going to go big with this. And I know that goes against everything I have just said about how good St. Johnson are keeping clean sheets and how badly we struggle to score goals. But I'm going big. Alright, and by big I mean 2-0. I've got 2-0 with Rangers. My goal scorers are going to be Alfredo Morelos and, surprisingly, it's going to be Grez Duh. That is going to be my two goal scorers. Now, that is me all done and dusty for today's video. Again, it's time to jump over and get the people's opinion. But before we do that, it's time for another drink, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. The drink that's got me back at it. No, I'm not sponsored, but if anyone at Lucas Aid does want to get involved, I will sell out like that. <laughs> anyway, three, two, one, sponsor break! So now we've reached the part in the video where it's all about the nation and let's see what they've had to say. 934 votes, thank you so much. So that's just still 36 minutes left, so thank you so much to the nation for getting involved. These always turn up. Now, 6% voting for the draw, 7% voting for a St. Johnson win, but 87%, which is actually a lot lower than the last match against Hibs, votes for a Rangers win. So that... It's actually really, really interesting. So let's see what they've had to say. Scott Young says, free now to the famous uh, Arnfield hat trick. That'd be great to see, especially given the fact he's on one hamstring. Barney at Bobble Boss Stinson. Well done, son. You changed your name for Christmas. I appreciate that. Free one to the famous Morelos double and a Goldson header. Alan McShagger says, 2 0 to Rangers. Score more than once and that'll be happy and confidence going into two massive games at Hibs and Celtic. I'm going to go for Morelos to score twice. That'd be great to see, mate, getting him confidence into the double header of nightmares. Matt Mendes says 3 0 to the mighty. Peter Ramsey says St. Johnson 0, Rangers 3. Jack, Morelos, and Tavernier. Peter, I'd love nothing more than that to happen, son. Nothing more. Jonathan says, going to go for a hard-fought 2-0. St. Johnson aren't no mugs. Gresda and Tav, very similar mindset as me, Jonathan. John Boy says, 3-0 to Rangers. Ross Watson says, 3-0. Wallace Hattrick, thanks, Ross, for keeping that joke going into the new year. Do you care what my new year resolution is? Name your Wallace stuff on the channel. That's what it is. Deakey Neal says, well won, going for 2-0. Zup, uh, Buffalo... To regain his goal scoring touch with a double. Jordan says 2 1 to the famous. Dylan Walker says 11 0. Okay, okay, Dylan. You started early, son. You on the punch, are you? Hmm? Hmm? On the Baileys like Amoroso we used to be? At the cat house? Are you? I didn't care what I say anymore, honestly. But try and get some content, Craig. Come on, they deserve it. It's Christmas time. Try and be good for once. Jambo Max says 3 1 to Rangers. Candace, Morelos, and Tav. Free kick. We are due goals. And the last two or three that we'll read out come from Andrew. PC396 says 1 0 to Rangers. Daniel Candace to score. Doug Ratcliffe says 3 1 to the mighty Glasgow Rangers. Adam Durrick says it should be a win on paper, but will we turn up? <laughs> That's a great question, Aaron. Will we actually turn up? If we turn up, it will be a 3 0 victory. Lewis Smith says, I think it will be 3 1 with a Morelos double and a Captain Tav penalty. It's funny you say that, Lewis, because I swear, doing that's exactly what I was going to say before I started making this video. And then if you go back and watch the video, I actually see, because I say I'm going to go big, but then I change my mind very quickly to 2 0. So shout it to you, Lewis. If that's right, mate. I should have stuck with my guns. Jordan says 2-0. Jers, Candace and Morelos. And Miss, Mrs. Amanda McNeish says 3-1 to us. Now it's time to go rapid fire. Kimberly says 2-0 with Candace and Tav with a free kick. I'm pretty sure she just means Tav with a free kick and I've read it wrong. That usually how it goes. Jason Kirkwood says 2-0. Lafferty and Tavernier. Stephen Quinn says 2-0. Rangers. Morelos will find his shooting boots tomorrow for a brace. Please. Tom Cruise. Please. Jordan says 1-0 Saints. What do you mean, Jordan? Hmm? Hmm? Is that what it is? Is that what we do now? And the last one we'll read out comes from... 
comes from Gerard Warnock. He says, 2-0 Rangers, El Buffalo to score both. So there it is. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you've heard the people's opinion. You've heard mine. If you haven't done so already, you know what to do by now. And if you would like to support the channel directly, the link for that will be in the description as a link to the Patreon. Again, 100% will be going towards a new camera. I've been CJ Nova92. Thank you so much for watching and bye-bye.